So today uh, we opened Super Gym Pool, uh, which is a monumental uh, feat here at Camp Humphreys. Um, we've had the Super Gym Pool closed for a very long time as we've been doing a bunch of renovations to it. And uh, we've worked through a number of uh, processes to make sure that this is all coming online uh, pretty efficiently. Um, we've had a couple false starts associated with it, but we did all the testing at the Super Gym Pool, and now it's a facility open to the community. And now we got about 100 kids in the pool. Uh, we did a uh, drawing to see which child was going to get in the pool first, and number 125 uh, got the uh, got the opportunity to get in the pool first. So, which is great. Mr. Cameron here is our grand prize winner. He'll be the first to enter the swimming pool, and he also wins a 2016 family season pass to the Splish and Splash outdoor pool. Oh, I mean, we're happy that it's finally open to the community. We've been get, getting asked all the time about when it's going to open. Now we have it open to the community. So now the community down here at Camp Humphreys, they're more than welcome to finally utilize our facility. So at Camp Humphreys, we're going to be expanding to uh, support population of 42,000 eventually here. And uh, we've got a, a number of fitness facilities on the installation. Inside this super gym is a 100,000 square feet facility and we're gonna have four more medium-sized gyms on the installation, and we're gonna have a, additionally a, a functional fitness facility. Um, having pool facilities, especially indoor pool facilities, will be very important to us, uh, especially as we look at uh, the winter months um, here in the Pyeongtaek area. And so an indoor pool of this size is uh, gonna be exceptionally important for the fitness of the community and the resiliency of not just our kids that are in the pool right now, but uh, kids of all ages. Uh, from the time that the toddlers and can swim to the time that they're, uh, you know, very seasoned adults, seasoned swimmers here. So this gives us a great opportunity to increase the resilience in the community.